bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum ba da bum 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 ba da Hey, I'm okay, but I'm slightly scared. My husband's a mock for the war on terror. Aladdin was taken by the CIA. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Infiverse today. I'm the Infomancer speaking, and I'm here with another weapon review. Uh, thank you for tuning into the Infinite Realm today. I'm always happy to have you here. And let's go ahead and get into this. Um, the weapon I'm reviewing today is the Arabian, Scan, the Arabian Sand Scimitar. It is a really beautiful blade. This is perhaps my favorite sword aesthetically. Um, short sword. I consider this a short sword, but I really like the aesthetics of this one. Um, just like usual, not a real weapon, but a wonderful wall hanger and conversation starter. And let's get into it. Uh, I'm sure you can see a nice sheath here. Um, sheath because it's bendy. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way to the tip. And because of its curve, it's got a zipper here. That allows it to come out. Uh, it's got this belt strap is what it's supposed to be. I don't know how you connect this to your belt. But that's what that's supposed to be. And it's a decent sheath. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. It's uh, held in place by this button here, which is pretty firm. Uh, moving on though, I gotta get it unzipped all the way, otherwise it ain't coming out. Ooh, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, this is, this is sexy right here. This is just pure sexiness. Oh, this blade, uh, it'll get me to drop my pants in a second. <laughs> oh, just gotta... I gotta show that off. I really, really like this sword. I love the aesthetics of a good scimitar like this. And as I said, this is the Arabian Sand scimitar. I purchased it from Bud K. Uh, you can see Bud K symbol right there. Try and get good light on it. Um, it says here that it's made out of stainless steel and handcrafted in China. And it's even got a lot number. Uh, BK1465, so there's that, and again, just look how sexy, how wonderful, oh, I really, I really like this sword, <laughs> but alright, getting to the review, because you don't want to just watch me cream my jeans this entire video, uh, here we have a nice handle, I really like the shape of the handle, um, you can see it's a rounded rectangular, it is not a circle, so that's perfect for blade alignment. It's actually a little more circular than I care for. I'd like a little more rectangular shape to it, but it feels really nice in the hand. Uh, it's long enough that I could use it with two hands, however it's so light that there's no need to, um, just for more power, because I can put a lot more bite into it with a second hand, but it's really not necessary. Uh, with a blade this small and light, you don't need it, but it is nice that the option's there. Uh, I wouldn't call this a pummel, really, but it's got a decent shaped pummel that would be okay for smacking into somebody's head, nice and solid and sturdy. Um, one big problem is you can see a weld mark here, and I don't know for a hundred percent sure, but I also see gaps here in between the handle and the hilt, and I don't believe there's actually a tang on this weapon. I believe that it's just a handle, which is really well crafted, but just a handle that is welded on to the disc here, the disc guard, which is the kind of guard this is, the round guard that's kind of small. You see it on uh, katanas and Chinese weapons and stuff a lot. Um, it's a little different than a normal disc. It's got a bit of a, not a, quite a round shape. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. It's more like an egg shape. So not quite a normal disc, but still a disc guard. Um, you can see it's got a fuller here, a very, very small fuller, but it's got a fuller for the weight. And this disc guard works well. It keeps my hand from sliding up and it offers, you can see, a decent amount of protection for my hand, but my thumb's still out, my knuckles are still out. That's why I like a, uh, a normal guard, a cross guard. However, this works really well and I like the way it looks aesthetically, so I can't complain about it too much. But just so you are aware, this is an inferior guard as compared to a normal cross guard, or especially a guard that has rings and stuff on the side, or even a full basket guard. Offer, would offer much more protection, but 
this works really good and it looks beautiful. Um, because it's just a welded on handle, it would not hold up to uh, battle or testings or anything. But again, it's a wall hanger and conversation piece and it's so pretty. That's exactly what it's going to do is start conversations. And so we've got this and a pretty poor makeup but looks good and it holds together well enough. So that works. You can see there's no shake in the blade, that's because it's stainless steel. And that's why if there's no give and it would break that's really easy. Sun, Sorry about the slight interruption. Um, you can see there's not any shake or nothing, that's why it would shatter, and why stainless steel is not a very good choice for making weapons. Uh, makes a good cheap steel, easy to make wall hanger though. And that's exactly what this is. Um, you can see the blade here is designed with a pretty big curve. Uh, this makes it very, very good for uh, draw cuts, for slicing. And actually it comes into a very fine point here, so even though it's point, it curves up, the point goes almost straight out and it's so fine, it would still be very, very good for thrusting. And actually this tip is very sharp. I don't know if you can see how uh, fine that is, but that is very fine and very, uh, very sharp. Even just poking it like that is dangerous. Uh, you can see it's pretty thick here on the spine, and so that would offer quite a bit of resistance when cutting. So you would only get to the bevel, and that would be about it. But that's okay. That's plenty enough to actually hurt somebody. However, you would want a you would want it to be a little thinner and easier to slice all the way through in a real battle situation. Uh, you can see back here it's meant to be bladed. It's not bladed on the back, but it's designed to look like it is. Um, it actually is kind of sharp here on the blade itself. So this was one of the sharpest pieces I got from Bud K. That was nice, and you could actually cut with it. I just wouldn't recommend it. And again, look at that design. It just looks great. I really like scimitars. Anyways, that's all there really is to this review. I, I really like this weapon, but it's a wall hanger. Good design, just not really usable. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you here again in the Infiverse on whatever videos I decide to do. And until then, you guys have a good one.